All right, guys, we are here with ferrets. Same, yeah, ferrets. Uh, never say that ever again. Never say meow? Yes. Just... What, like, does it like meow, like, as in meow? What, meow? Uh, because, for one, I've never heard you say that before. Uh, mm -hmm. Two, after hearing you say that, I have uh, decided that it's very uncomfortable. <coughs> and four, to save myself from such a event in the future, I'm going to ask you to, you to please never say that ever again. Yeah. Someone just kill me now. <laughs> so everybody, we do have some new leaks when it comes to... Well, not leaks, the actual CIG tweets and discussions from developers themselves. And... Uh, yeah, um, at the end of the day, they're actually talking about, like, Cargo Refactor and how it's going to work and the future of Cargo Refactor and, and all this sort of stuff. Um, so we're going to go through and we're going to talk about it um, because, obviously, it's really, really interesting. The first thing we want to talk about is this image here with the hull A and the cargo boxes on the side. Now, these are obviously much, much larger boxes. I would say these are probably the boxes that are similar if not the same size as the ones that we saw in the Siege of Oris. It Maybe. actually looks, yeah, it actually looks like it's, um, it's like them being repurposed. And to be honest, when I saw them, I thought, ah, these are going to be the cargo boxes. Um, and I imagine inside they're going to have a whole bunch of other boxes inside. Um, so they're going to be like containers that will go through and hold, say, 300, 400, whatever it may be, of those smaller boxes, whatever it may be. And, um, 100, whatever, and, uh, and then obviously when your ship gets blown up or when you open the door, then obviously it will go through and put them in there. Um, but when you're traveling along and it's just these big boxes, obviously to save performance, they can literally hide the boxes inside and not have to worry about drawing, you know, over 100 or 200 little boxes. So it's a good idea. It's good for performance for a start. B, it's good for you because obviously you'll be able to pick up and transfer these little, these bigger boxes on your own. But you most likely will still be able to access these from the doors. You can sort of see there's still like the, the doors on there and stuff like that. I imagine if you have a look on the side, there's probably like a keypad or something that will allow you to enter these or even just to click on the door. Allow you to open the door and then obviously once you do that, you will have these smaller boxes which will contain the materials or whatever it may be. Um, what are your thoughts, Fez, with these cocoa boxes? Anything interesting you want to mention? <clears throat> well, um, when this comes out, I'm going to definitely enjoy trying to uh, challenge myself in the filling these E's up with, uh, the Gan Knight, the crystals. Yeah, and, and that's the thing too, right? So, for example, say this, say this holds, say, a hundred boxes. Right at the end of the day, obviously those hundred boxes will still be smaller so in in there, but you might have like twenty boxes of crystals, another twenty boxes of laronite, and maybe you know five boxes of plutonium, whatever it may be. So you can have different values in these boxes, and and like I say, I think it's more of a performance thing, um, where obviously they can go through and they can have these big cargo boxes. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it's it's going to be good for for people like you and me. Like, for example, doing bunker missions. We're going to be able to go down, hopefully with these boxes, and be able to throw things in these boxes and then move these to the ship. Instead of taking, you know, five or ten of these boxes downstairs and filling them up, we might be able to just take one of these big ones if, they, if they're detachable. All right, so... I am reading here from mm -hmm. the uh, Q&A. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, got a thing here from a uh, Jake. Um, the car, the external uh, cargo pods that like we see on the like call series and the ones mm -hmm. on the raft. Yeah, these will only be a uh, detachable upon the vehicle's destruction. destruction. Okay, mm. yeah. Maybe in the future they might make them detachable, but yeah. So that's what in it looks future, like. Yeah. So what I imagine is, okay, so I imagine you dock your ship to the, the pads, 
right? You tell it that you want 400 boxes of Laronite, for example, and it will throw the 400 boxes inside these big containers. And then when your ship gets blown up or detached, so you lose these for like getting shot off or whatever it may be. It, um, obviously, if these are getting shot off, then obviously it will go through and maybe just jettison the cargo container. But if you get blown up, for example, it'll blow up the container, but the things that are inside will get redrawn, and that's where you'll have the 50 boxes floating around or something like that. So this is more about performance than it is, because obviously at the end of the day, having 50 boxes of Laronite strapped to the side of a, a hull A is obviously process heavy when it comes to performance. Yeah. So, uh, apparently, there's already a bunch of uh, people on here who are sort of raising <clears throat> the questions of how does CIG expect them to uh, move hundred of uh, like hundreds of uh, like SCU worth of uh, boxes onto their ship after they get the done uh, disabling an, uh, another ship, and right. so that they said they. They've got bigger boxes than what we're used to, right? Right. But okay. in the case of like ships like the the Cutlass the Black or mm. say the uh, Freelancer the Max, those obviously <clears throat> will not be using the bigger the boxes, but they will be using the more smaller ones. Mm. And and honestly, I don't see a, a problem. With having to uh, manually move hundreds of uh, the sp the smaller boxes in into your ship, because uh, uh, because the pirating isn't supposed to be that I shoot you, I disable you, and I take all of your your cargo in uh, thirty seconds. It's it's not supposed to, to be hard. It's supposed to be yeah, a, a time consuming work. So yeah, risk and reward is what you're saying. Yeah, the people yeah. on here who are saying Same that C that CIG should uh, like add a function where when they disable a ship, the cargo should automatically be poofed in the right to your ship's cargo hold. I'm like, no. What? No. Yeah. That's just people being lazy. That's all. It's just people, especially pirate people that are going to be piracy gameplay. That's just them going through and, and wanting to do it quick and easy and just be make some fuss money. That's all it is. But, yeah, um, well... but at the end of the day, I you got to remember too, they are saying that they're going to be dropping one SCU boxes the boxes they've had lately have actually been one eighth. I think it was one eighth scale. So you got to remember that the the SCUs, the, the stuff that the boxes that that are going to drop, are literally eight times the size of what we got. So if you've got eighty boxes, for example, that drop from a cutlass, just using numbers, the 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 new system that comes out at three point eighteen will drop ten instead of eighty. So. Mm -hmm. It's not like you like you know like obviously when you get into things like the for example the BMM and the whole C whole D whole E stuff like that yeah you're gonna have hundreds of those boxes and that's well, where I'm, I presume you'll have these sort of bigger boxes too. Well, I think in the case of like the larger ships, yeah, they're just not going. To have larger boxes, I mean... Yeah, it's going to be the boxes that we see on the side of the Hull A, probably. In fact, maybe, the concept yeah. art for the Ben U Merchantman was them in the crane room, or in the, the cargo room, with the crane, lifting one of these boxes. Hmm. So this is what, I, like I say, I, I presume as boxes, as storage gets bigger for bigger ships, they're going to be able to take these bigger containers. And, and look, I, I presume you could probably go through and put one or two of these bigger containers in the future in your cutlass, but it's only going to fit one or two, and it's going to be like the ships, like the BMM, the Hull C, Hull D, Hull E, when they get blown up, they're going to drop these bigger boxes, because there's no way CIG is going to go through and put through 10,000 Hull uh, 1 SCU boxes 
for like for example the well what's the BMM hold? Three thousand six hundred? I have no <coughs> I, I I don't have one. I I I really don't know. But yeah, so say it's like you know, like your, your whole C I think is around over three thousand, four thousand or whatever, SCUs or whatever. Um even if it's two thousand, that's still two thousand boxes that it would have to draw. And that's when they were saying before that that drawing six hundred was a problem. That's why they limited it. Originally, they limited it. Um, so yeah, they're going to drop bigger boxes. That's for sure. But we should probably keep moving on. Um, so the next thing we've got is this post by Gozo CIG. Cargo containers can be scanned, and AR markers will be present if they survive the explosion. We've also added colors tints to the containers so you can at least identify what the category they belong to such as metal metals or processed goods i like this i like this idea a lot anything you got to add or no i'm hmm. just reading through the rest of these here that's right uh next one down will cargo containers stolen by pirates be recognized by buyers as being stolen if so what happens if you willingly transfer my cargo to another player to sell it for me? So when a player purchases commodities, those are owned by the player that purchased them. Anyone else trying to sell them will have a will have a use a no questions asked terminal. Terminals that will not receive full price for anything that are not trying to sell, even if the cargo container to a friend they would have to sell it at a no questions asked terminal and they would not get the full price for the commodity grim hex for example would be a location i could fence my stolen goods so if you go through and your ship gets blown up and pirates come along and steal your cargo the only place they can sell it is at no questions asked terminals and they're not going to get the full price for it. So they might get like a third or something like that. I'm happy with that. Any thoughts? Mm, not no, yet. No. Right, next one on along. Um, so it goes there again. Uh, are we getting any uh, dynamic prices changes to commodities? Commodity prices will not change for 318. Mainly because if they did, we would then have to do it again all over as soon as we add manual loading and unloading to the loop. Loading and unloading will dramatically change the whole commodity trading loop. So this is when you, you pull into a station and you're, you're manual loading or unloading. Now the way I suspect this is going to work is that you pull in and you're going to have a choice. You can manually unload the stock or you can do it automatically for a price. And I imagine also that it will probably be longer to do automatic. They'll probably say, okay, if you want to do automatic, fine. It'll be, say, 300 UEC, for example, and it also will take you 20 minutes. Where if you do the unloading yourself, it's free, but you can also get it done in, say, 5 or 10 minutes, for example. Um, it's interesting that they're saying they're not doing it now because as soon as the manual loading and unloading comes in, they will have to redo it. So they're obviously planning that to happen sometime soon. Soon TM sort of thing. Um, like if they're not willing to do that now, they're probably expecting it within 12 months. 12 to 18 months. Huh. Um, Alright, so next one. Um, yep, so, oops, next one is here, and I'll click on it. So, uh, we are hinting about this in Inside Star Citizen, and it wasn't very clear. Within 3.18, we're introducing the concept of soft death. There is 70% chance a vehicle will die with its interior and cargo intact from oh, combat no. deaths. Mm. Somebody just won the freaking Powerball jackpot. God damn it. Uh, explosive deaths or deaths by <laughs> game rules need Sorry. a barrier or touch touching water, for example. Won't trigger a soft death. So, explosive deaths or deaths by game rules. 
near a barrier or touching water, for example, won't trigger a soft death. Okay. Oh, okay, so that'll give you the hard death. Okay, gotcha. What this means is 70% of the time, you and your crew are still alive and the cargo is still attached to the ship when a combat death occurs. Ship reaches zero health in combat. The 30% of the time that, that this doesn't happen, your ship explodes and the cargo is pushed out and then 0 to 90% of the cargo remains, with the average being around 45% cargo surviving. <coughs> right. Anything to add on to that besides Powerball? Uh, no, and I wish I won the Powerball, but uh, no, no, I, I, I didn't win. Uh, Goza, again from CIG. Containers are snapped to the grid when they're placed. Anything in the ship or attached to the grid will be able to sell at the commodity kiosks. So that's interesting. Um, and then we've got this one down here. Um, at the moment, nothing changes when loading or unloading. This handled automatically. Sorry, this is handled automatically as it's been in the past. Once manual loading and unloading becomes a reality, you'll have the option to choose between the two. If okay, so this is what I was talking about. If you choose to have the location, do the loading or unloading. There'll be a cost and a time where your ship is unavailable while the process completes, much like the refinery gameplay. And also. After 318, we want to separate the commodity trading from cargo hauling. Commodity trading, uh, trading will be high risk, high reward. If you invest in a large amount of money, in uh, money, you'll also have to manage the cost of loading and unloading as well as protection. On the other hand, cargo hauling is just moving things for NPCs from point A to point B. You are not tied to it financially. And the moving things that uh, sorry, and they'll be moving things that pirates don't care about, as there'll be no profit in them for them. First step here is it will be adding cargo hauling missions to extend the current box delivery missions. Once you manually load and unload your own cargo, they will start small and get larger. The only thing that players are risking is reputation. Uh, and we have the AMA for the cargo refactor. Is there anything in this AMA that that we should look at, or is it pretty oh. much everything that we sort of we've gone through? To be honest, sir, I mean, there's a lot of good information here, but there's not a lot of questions being answered. Right. Is this something that they're sort of doing over time, or? Do you think? I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I, hmm. The uh, Q and A was the Q and A went up like, like almost three and a half hours ago. So, so you think that? Yeah. All right. So let's just scroll through this and see if there's any other good questions. Um. So someone's asked. So someone asked about uh, cargo bags of the prospector and mole. Getting additional information from the ship teams on this one will update here. Track this down with several teams. Currently, all these ships will function similar to how they are now. So, Resource pods such as saddlebags or fuel pods won't be detachable in this release as future work on vehicle tractor beam is required. Okay, that makes sense. Regarding extra cargo such as the hull series and the raft, these will detach upon vehicle destruction as outlined in Inside Star Citizen. That's interesting. Do you got anything to add? Or... Uh, well... <sighs> Actually, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. um, so someone's asking, um, do I do I need a needy snack? Sorry, do uh, I need to neatly stack? Oh, I got you, yep. Oh, so he, to neatly stack. 
Yeah. Oh my, if he needs a needy snack, then the answer is yes. <laughs> so get that man a snack. Hey, I think I said it lists items, and if so, on the ship, we we'll sell them. Okay, so yeah, sort of answering the question. I would like to be able to buy one or two SEU boxes and put them wherever we want or make events organizers. Right, uh, I want you to be able to do that as well rather than having to blow up your ship and create them yourself. On top of that, I want to be able to create uh, to carry those things around, light bunkers, fill them up, and then snap them to the grid once you're back at your ship. I also want you to be able to do all this and then go back to the station and go and sell all these without having to transfer it all to the station local inventory in order to do so. That said, it probably won't make it to 318 at some point, however it'll be a thing. Okay, cool. This is where I use the dreaded soon. Gotcha. Anything to add before we wrap this up? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, the well, Powerball was at a, a, a two point four a billion dollars. <laughs> ah. Well, and and anyways, um, regarding to what we have here, um, no, I mean. These uh, Q and A questions are pretty much straight to forward, self explanatory. I mean, mm. um, uh, yeah, I don't, I really don't have much. I mean, no, yeah. it's, it's um, pretty, it's pretty self explanatory. Yeah, uh, next week though. Sorry? Oh hell yeah, for sure. Mm. I am mainly looking forward to 3.18 because I want to watch. The, I want to watch the salt freaking flow. <laughs> what salt do you think is going to flow there? Uh, uh, people getting uh, uh, pirated by uh, mm -hmm. other the players and getting their uh... stuff stolen. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, um, I, I especially a Reddit. Especially uh, Reddit, they are going to be very uh, salty, and uh, I just want mm. to. Uh... I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be as salty as you think, because at the end of the day, look between you and me, I imagine there's going to be no much difference between this and what we've got now. When your ship blows up, now you lose your stuff anyway. The only difference is, is actually in the future, you're possibly more likely to get some of it back. So I don't think it's going to be as so, any more salty than it already is. In fact, it's probably going to be a lot of praise going on about how cool it is that we can reclaim our stuff. So I would tend to disagree there. But, but guys, let us know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. I will put a link in the description to the Cargo Refactor AMA. Um, so feel free to go and post or ask questions and hopefully maybe get a reply. Apart from that, guys, have a great night. Enjoy yourself. Uh, Ferret's detail is in the description below. Go and give his channel a like and subscribe. Now, apart from that, I'm probably going to be streaming tonight playing some uh, some... I don't know if I'm going to be modding Imperium or playing Imperium, but uh, it'll be something along the lines of Imperium Galactic Survival. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself, guys. Do you want to say bye, friends? I will, as long as you never say that one word ever again. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody.